In this video, I'm going to show you how to work with the new hotkey editor. The hotkey editor was introduced in Max 2020.1 update and can be found in the, uh, in the customized menu. So in the past, when you want to change any existing hotkey or create a new hotkey, you needed to go to the customize user interface dialog. So if you do that in this current version of Max, um, if you go to your uh, keyboard uh, tab, you get a message that the hotkeys have changed. Um, if you want to see the changes, you can immediately go into the help uh, files. But obviously, to launch the new editor, you need to go into the hotkey editor from the, uh, the same customized menu. So back in the customized menu, I'm going to open up the hotkey editor. So this is a complete separate system. So the dialog itself, it's based on Qt, so it can easily be resized. So that's that's a good a good thing. And and one of the, the, the things I like the most is that there is an option to do a search on any kind of action. So imagine if I start typing, uh, I wanted to assign a hotkey for the line command, so for the shape. So as soon as when I start typing, the, uh, the dialog will automatically start filtering out. So if I just complete the command line, there it is, there's the line shape. Um, the line shape doesn't have any current hotkey assigned. So if I uh, define a hotkey, maybe I'm gonna, gonna decide to have a similar hotkey as it is in AutoCAD. So in AutoCAD, it's a, the L key for starting a line, but then I do get a message, hey, you get a conflict because the L shortcut key is already assigned to activating the left view. So what I can do then, if I want, I can remove this hotkey. Um, immediately you have an undo option. If you think, hey, I made a mistake, that's a wrong decision. Uh, for now, I'm gonna assign it. Uh, so now it's assigned and then you get a, a warning, well, warning or message that in the current hotkey set, I have a unsaved change. So immediately I'm able to save this if I want, or I can save this to my own separate uh, file with all my custom shortcut keys. And that's, that's really good because these new shortcut keys are being saved in my user settings folder, uh, which is part of Max 2021, quite obvious. And these are saved in the HSX file format. And only my custom keys are being saved. So not all the other existing keys, which is, which is really nice. Um, by the way, if you want to change the, uh, the the folder, if you don't like the folder, you can always go into your um, uh, configure user and system paths. And in there, you will find your user settings folder where you're able to uh, change the, uh, the, default, uh, the default folder. Also very nice, you can filter um, in, the, in the dialog. So you can filter out to only show the assigned hotkeys. So all the assigned hotkeys, uh, maybe I want to just see, okay, um, what hotkeys are assigned. So by changing the actions into the current hotkeys, I'm able to, to see the, uh, the difference over there. And also I can do, okay, what are my customized hotkeys only? And also the unsaved hotkeys only. So in general, it's really a nice addition. It's so much easier to, uh, to, to define your own shortcut keys and save them out into a dedicated separate uh, file format.